All right, what's up guys? So I've been working on the little WL Toys K989. I know it's got a, another code to it, but that's uh, more easier, the K989 version. So um, there it is right there. It's got the Mini Z uh, tires, the Yeah Racing wheels, which are these fluorescent um, pink. And uh, I have the widest offset in the rear and the mid offset. So it's actually wider and um, actually changed the wheelbase. I um, put that screw right there. So this whole gearbox is further back. So it's uh, longer. So overall, it's probably about a 127 scale, 126 scale maybe. But yeah, this thing is uh, pretty dang dope. Really, really enjoying this thing. And uh, yeah. So the first thing um, I did as far as uh, getting this thing ready to go to uh, you know, be more fun and everything. I took out the differentials. I um, actually had to sand some of the spider gears down because they were binding and the diff cups right in, well, I'm not sure if you could see, but right in there, right there. Um, those basically go into the diff and they slide and the plastic is basically very bad tolerant. So you basically have to sand down the plastic pieces to make them um, more smoother and everything. So I did that and right now the diffs are, look how smooth, super smooth and it doesn't even engage the front wheels and it rolls super smooth now before it was all locked up. And then um, the last video you've seen, the pinion gear was like smashed up against the spur gear and uh it was causing a lot of binding so i basically backed this out so now there's a little bit of play between the pinion and spur and uh, another thing i did which was uh very very beneficial was you know how there's uh two diff um what is that uh bearings that go one here one right there well the one on this side that the diff it goes into the pinion gear right there i actually took out some plastic to shift the differential more this way so it's meshing up against the pinion gear the ring gear is meshing up with the pinion gear very very nicely before the differential was a little bit this way and it was causing a lot of binding between the pinion gear and the ring gear the differential ring gear and I did the same for that one. So basically that diff, it goes like that. And then this diff is on this side, you know, the, the gears. So basically it's a little bit more that way. And now it meshes up nice and free. And it basically makes it roll a lot, much more smooth. But yeah, so there she is right there. And uh, I took off the bar, the light bar. Just wanted to make it a little more lighter and um, less of a toy but I think it looks much better and it's really not needed. But um, yeah, if it's just like a basher and you know, you're just bashing it outside in the dark, then probably pretty cool, but yeah. Next um, mods I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the uh, aluminum um, knuckles. I'm gonna get the ball differentials. I'm gonna get um, the tie rods and the metal gear set, basically the uh, differential pinion gear and um, the metal steel spur gear and yeah and then after that it's gonna be really really just uh done basically that's gonna come with the uh, metal shock towers but i'll show that later date check it out real quick let's uh, do a little test run all right guys so it's really kind of hard to record um such a little small scale rc but you guys get the point this is gonna be with one hand goes pretty quick but yeah but the drivetrain is a lot more free feels a lot better than before because before it was like a major uh drag brake basically when you got off of it it wouldn't roll
All right, guys, so that's gonna conclude the little video. If you wanna see more of the little car, please subscribe and comment. And yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is pretty dang dope. Really, really like it. And uh, really wanna try and get the shocks because I noticed one of them, it's actually binding, but yeah, but that's gonna be in the later date. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one, peace.